open up your retro watch then go to online updater core downloader or you can go to load core or download the core it's the same thing then you can scroll down or scroll up to go directly to the bottom and uh, scroll to the uh, Sony cores download the PCSX2 then load the PSX2 core go to information and core information here you can see what kind of requirements do you need BIOS, we need the BIOS and there's a encrypted DVD player software I don't know what that is you can ignore that now go back to your retro watch folder go to system and inside the system folder we need to create a PCSX2 folder inside this folder we need to have a structure a folder structure of uh, several folders the, the, easiest, the easiest way to get the uh, all of these folders and files is to go to the PSX2 the original PSX2 emulator and download the Windows version unzip the emulator uh, open up the PCSX2 so you can uh, it, it will create more more all the necessary it will create all the necessary folders and files I don't have the BIOS at the moment so you can just cancel it then we copy all the all of the files and folders folders we need. We need the BIOS, cheats, sheets, white screens, inis, logs, memory cards, snaps, states, and portable ini. Copy or cut. Then go back to the retro arch folder. Go to system. PCSX2 and paste it. For legal reasons, I can share the BIOS file, but you can search them in your favorite search engine, <laughs> and in the end, you will end up with something like this. Now you can copy the the BIOS to the RetroWatch folder, go to RetroWatch, System, PCSX2, BIOS, paste them here, go back, open up RetroWatch, then load core, load the PSX2 core, start core, you don't need to boot to the BIOS menu to configure the core, you can press the F1 keyboard key, then scroll down to options, and here you can configure everything you will configure in the uh, PS2 BIOS menu you can choose what, what type of BIOS you want I'm gonna go with the V02 PAL BIOS you can choose the language if you want fast loading, fast boot, I want fast boot too boot the BIOS when you load the game what kind of memory cards you want memory cards load 2.2 Every um, the uh, PCS uh, PC PCSX uh, save files are saved in here in the RetroWatch saves PCSX2 memory card one and two. Then you can configure the other options like resolution. Then to make sure everything is saved, uh, close contents then restart RetroWatch just to make sure restart RetroWatch now we can you can load the PS2 game finally and 
enjoy your gaming. Devil may cry. Twenty years ago, Mundus, the Emperor of the Underworld, resurrected. The castle is above this cliff. Come on, let's go! If you want to see how good or how bad games look uh, using RetroWatch, the PCSX2 core or any other core, you can go to the World of Gameplays channel. He has a lot of videos uh, with RetroWatch. You can see uh, the recent PSX2 cores and see you. You there? Can you hear me? And because the PCSX2 core is still in alpha, it, it will crash a lot of times. And every time you close RetroWatch while playing the core or the emulator, it will probably crash. And it's better if you go to the uh, task, Windows Task Manager and see if uh, uh, RetroWatch tasks are open and make sure to close them probably every time you have to do this. <laughs> 